at YouTube opening up a uh, sword and shield base set elite trainer box today. I've got uh, quite a few of these, like five or so, so I thought I'd open up one. I tried to go uh, live uh, last night, but I uh, did not realize you have to have a bunch of followers on YouTube in order to go live, so. Yep, but uh, I will start actually posting videos now. I mean, I guess it's kind of uh, redundant to say that in this video, but because uh, <laughs> it. This one will be like posted last or whatever, but uh, yeah, that's the plan. I think I did already post one video. Again, Red Dog didn't actually say that in here, but it is what it is. Alright. I already know the deal. No point in uh, really showing this off. Well, let's just show off the, uh, the chase pools, right? Where is it? There we go. Some cool ones there. Uh, what else we got in here? Anything else interesting? I think like the Quick Ball is the best one in this uh, set. Or maybe the Marnie Full Art, the regular one. Probably not the Seeker Rare. But yeah. Again, I've had super crazy luck with uh, these uh, Elite Trainer boxes. So I figured, you know should open those instead of anything else. So I, this is probably gonna come with about eight packs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep. I think I would probably want that Snorlax uh, VMAX card or maybe the uh, Lapras, regular Lapras. I know there's like a really cool V-card Lapras that's like looking all crazy. But uh, yeah, probably the Snorlax or maybe, you know, the Quick Bowl. If you're trying to get your money's worth, right? A lot of these older Sword and Shield sets don't have anything like super crazy. I like the newer sets better, like uh, Evolving Skies or I have a Chilling Rain Booster box up there. Those ones are the ones I really like because uh, they've got just so many pools that you can get a lot more than you know these older sets. Rookity, Sizzlepeed, Snom, Mawao, Gossifleur, Ghastly, and Boltoned Hollow. Right there. You know, Sword and Shield base set stuff is actually kind of getting a little expensive. Maybe not the packs themselves, but I mean, like, a booster box is, like, $200, something like that. So, although, I mean, the Evolving Skies booster boxes were pretty quickly approaching that before the, uh, the restock, right, or the reprint of it. It's not, not wild, all the exact same cards. Blipbug, Non-Hollow, or Beetle. Slazzle, just kind of looking at Oh, you yeah, Rodon Bike. That's fun. <laughs> I do like Rodon. Let's see. Heat wrote on here, CGC9. This is from uh, Platinum Rising Rivals. So that's fun. Let's see, what am I doing here with all this trash? Goldine. Diglett, these are new. Scorruppy, Hootoot, Score Bunny, Reverse Hollow, Mawile. That actually looks really cool. That artwork reminds me of like uh, Ancient Origins or something like that. Like super action, right? And Pultigeist, non hollow. What is that? Three packs and one hollow pool. Where did the hollow pool go, actually? Huh. I lose in this stack of cards. I did. Oops. Put that back up there. I think I'm getting better at uh, talking and opening packs at the same time, right? I'm better at managing all this trash and cards. Before it was just like a huge uh, <laughs> pile of cards all over the table. Gossip Fleur, Goldine, Diglett. 
Scrappy, Hoot, Eldegoss, and a non hollow Lapras. Dang, we want the the full or something. Or the V card. So that was four packs, one hit. Pretty much what you can expect from a uh, Sword and Shield. So maybe we can expect maybe one more hit out of all these. Grookey, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Rosalia, Pharaoh, see if you can see there is something there. Rhyhorn, and Zacian V, and this is the full art. Okay, nice. See, so these actually, these Elite Trainer boxes actually have some pretty good luck sometimes. Although I think what, from the, what's it called, the uh, Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer box, I didn't really get anything. But uh, that's kind of <laughs> how it goes with, the, especially the Vivid Voltage. I've opened quite a few Elite Trainer boxes of the Vivid Voltage and not gotten a thing. So I think like the gold card of this is uh, like 12 bucks, something like that. Maybe more than that. 12, 15 bucks. I'm sure the full art version is probably not worth that much. Rookity. Krabby, that's new. Grookey. Mudbray, that one's new. Pokeball just getting thrown at him. <laughs> Who Reversal Reverse Hall Sharna. Poltegeist. The second Poltegeist on all the rare that we've gotten. Oh. Two last packs. Krabby. Galarian Zigzagoon. That was new. Gossip Floor. We've already seen that one. Silicobra, Yamper, Stunfisk, Non Hollow Dreadnought. Alright, last pack. Let's see. Should we look at the the code card to see if it is actually a hit? Just for fun. Oh it is, okay. Let's see. Sizzlepeed. Yamper. Clobopus. Cottony. Choodle, Blip Bug. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay. Rainbow Rare Lapras V Max. Ah, I was kind of hoping for like the regular uh, Lapras, but that is still really cool. The centering actually doesn't look too bad. It looks maybe just slightly fatter on the bottom. But overall, actually, not bad. Super clean. If it's uh, worth grading, then it might be. If it's a gradable card, then it might be worth grading it then, huh? So, actually, not a bad round. We got a secret rare, a rainbow rare, and a full art, and uh, one hollow, but <laughs> that's kind of how it goes. So, that's actually, that was actually a decent uh, lead trainer box. Um, I feel like I've had really good luck with these trainer boxes. So, I mean, I pulled like even out of the darkness of blaze. Maybe I got like one or two hits or something like that out of it. But then I pulled that uh, Rainbow Eternus VMAX, which was, uh, you know, pretty good. So I feel like the Elite Trainer Boxes are actually pretty fire. But, wow, sub-10 minute video, so pretty good. See ya.